Hi, I'm Tracy Long with Big Picture Health. Would you like to join me for about the next 10 minutes to try a relaxing chair yoga session? This is a great beginning yoga workout and also great for people who spend a lot of time sitting in their desks, just um, waking up and opening up some muscles that tend to be tight from sitting. If you'd like to join me, go ahead and sit back in your chair. Let your back rest against the back of the chair. Hands can rest on your thighs, palms facing out. Close your eyes and let your head relax forward. It's okay to lose good posture and let your body just kind of slump into the chair and relax as you begin to focus on your breath, noticing your inhalation and your exhalation. Try to avoid changing your breath. Imagine your belly filling like a balloon and emptying like a balloon. Coming into this space, being mindful of where you are and mindful of your breath. Now together, we'll try the five, seven, eight meditation breath technique. We're gonna breathe in for the count of five. So inhale with me, five, four, three, two, one. Hold your breath for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And one more time. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release and open your eyes. Go ahead and lengthen your spine, scooting forward so you're about halfway centered in your chair. Lengthen your spine as you inhale, sweeping your arms wide, fingertips pointing skyward. Inhale as you tuck your chin, exhale, relaxing shoulders down your back. Take three more breaths, noticing your inhalation and your exhalation. Imagine reaching energy through your fingers and exhale, rooting down through your sit bones into the chair. Finishing that last breath cycle in and out, release your hands back down to your side. Place your hands on your knees. Take a breath in and exhale as you walk forearm and forearm down to your knees and let your head drop forward in a chair version of child's pose. Relaxing your back, releasing your shoulders. Now with a strong core, begin walking back up one hand and then the other hand. Inhale as you sweep your arms wide, palms come to touch, exhale hands down through heart center. And again, same thing, inhale, sweeping arms, exhale palms through heart center. And again, sweeping arms wide, Exhale, hands through heart center, but this time open arms up wide to the side. Exhale as you release your arms heavy down to the side. One more time. Inhale, sweeping arms wide. Exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, opening up the chest, letting the heart shine. Exhale, hands down to your side. Now inhale, sweeping arms up overhead and exhale as you begin rotating to the right, taking the right hand behind you, grabbing the chair, left hand on your right knee. Inhale to tuck your chin and grow tall. Exhale a little deeper into that stretch. Take another breath in and exhale as you begin releasing, unwinding back to the center. Inhale to sweep arms overhead and exhale other side, rotating. Coming into that twist, tucking the chin and growing tall, looking over the shoulder, inhaling to grow tall, exhale to twist. Take another breath in and exhale as you just unwind and release to the center. Now let's inhale, sweeping our arms up into a cactus position. 
Opening the chest, releasing tight muscles across the front of the chest and shoulders. Exhale, coming in to hugging arms across the chest. Inhale, cactus arms. Exhale, opposite arm over the top this time. Inhale, cactus arms. Exhale, folding over the chest. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Release the arms. Now pick up your right knee, holding below the kneecap, and take four circles in one direction. Feeling the femur bone rotate around the hip as you reverse the direction and go the other way. Warming up the hip socket. Release that leg. Other side, lifting it up. Tracing four circles, one direction, and four circles the other direction. Release your leg down to the side. Walk forward into your chair a little more. So we're just kind of perched on the edge of the chair. Walk your legs a little bit wider. Inhale as you sweep arms up overhead. And first reach, right arm, left arm. And then we come down and reach right arm across down, down, and then right arm across the body, across. Reaching up like we're picking apples up on a high branch. Reaching toward the floor, the floor, across the body, across the body. Reach, reach, low, low, across, across. Last time, reach, reach, low, low, across, and across. Now walk your feet back in. Scoot back in your chair just a little bit. Take your right hand and pull it back onto the right hip. Inhale to grow tall. Exhale to take your left hand on the outside of the right knee. Inhale to grow tall. And exhale as we come into a little deeper twist this time. Kind of pushing into the hip and pulling on the knee as we lengthen the spine, looking over our shoulder, making sure this feels just like mild pull and burn, nothing sharp and shooting. Staying with your breath. Inhaling to grow tall and exhaling as we release back to the center. Other side, left hand on the hip. Right hand across to the left knee. Inhale to grow tall. Exhale to create that little traction, pulling on the knee, pushing on the hip, finding length in the spine as we rotate. Breathing in to lengthen. Exhale to rotate a little more. One more breath cycle. Breathing in and exhale back to the center. Now let's try a sun salutation. Breathing in, sweeping the arms wide. Exhale as you release the body forward. Inhale as you pick up the right knee and lift off, coming up. Exhale, releasing the foot to the floor. Inhale, sweeping arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, opposite knee, left knee, coming to the chest and release on an exhale. Inhale, forward fold, breathing in knee up, exhale to lower. Inhale, sweeping up, exhale, forward fold, inhale, knee to chest, exhale, release. Scooting forward just up into the chair again a little more. We're coming into a figure four stretch for the back of the hip on the right side. Take your right ankle and cross it over your left knee, coming into this figure four position. If this is too deep or intense for your hips, it's okay if you take that right ankle and take it lower on the leg like I'm demonstrating. Either position works, listen to your body. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Even let your heart shine forward as you begin to exhale and press your body forward. Notice I'm hanging on to my lower leg helping to create a little bit of traction to lengthen the spine and press forward. You get a little more out of this nice hip opening stretch. If you imagine a rope tied to your tailbone, lifting your tailbone up just a little bit more will deepen and intensify the stretch just a little. Keep breathing. One more breath cycle and release. Let's go to the other side. Opposite ankle over the knee. Inhale to grow tall. Exhale to press your chest forward. Using your hands for support. Focusing on the breath. 
Imagine that rope tied to your tailbone, kind of hiking the tailbone up just a little bit as you relax your shoulders and focus on what you're feeling in that left side hip joint. Notice how this side feels compared to the other side. Is it different? Finishing the last breath cycle. Releasing, coming all the way back up. And now let's turn in our chair and rotate to the right. Taking the left foot back, wanting to open up and stretch these tight muscles right here from too much sitting. So we're gonna focus on just tucking the tailbone under a little bit and contracting these muscles right here in the front of the thigh, kind of pushing them forward as we press the heel back. Growing tall and exhale. If you'd like, you can bring your arms up into a warrior two position, looking out over your front fingertips. One more breath cycle and release. Now we're gonna inhale, sweeping that left arm up overhead and exhale as we come to a side bend, bending into the back of the chair, using the right arm to support the trunk. Really lengthening through that left side body. Coming back to the center, rotating back to the front, and then setting up for the other side. So let's just rotate to the side. This time, take the right leg back. Focus on kind of tucking your tailbone under just a little, finding that length and stretch right here in the front of the thigh, on that leg that's to the back. If you'd like, you can tuck your chin and grow tall and come into that warrior two position, gazing out over your fingertips on that front arm. Focusing on breathing in and breathing out. Release your arms. Pull the back leg in just a little as we inhale the right arm up and then come into that side bend over toward the back of the chair. We can turn our gaze up at that top elbow. Releasing and coming back to the center. Finishing up today with two um, important stretches. Let's inhale as we sweep our arms up to cactus position and exhale as we fold our arms over our chest. Inhale as you lift your elbows, but exhale as you release your shoulders down your back. I'm showing you a modified version of an eagle arm position. So I want you to see this in case you have shoulders that don't feel good. Another option here, we're just holding this for four breaths, but if you wanna try the option, we would sweep our arms wide and exhale as we wrap the right arm under the left Lifting the elbows, exhale to release the shoulders. One more breath cycle, lifting and breathe out. And let's release and shake that out. The other side, remember you have the option of opposite arm on top, lifting the elbows, pressing the shoulders back. Or if you'd like to join me coming into that eagle arm wrap, opposite arm comes underneath. Inhale, elbows up, exhale, shoulders down the back. One more breath cycle, breathing in and breathing out. Letting the stretch go, shaking out your shoulders, walking forward toward the edge of the chair. Now take your right leg and extend it out in front. Take a breath in to lengthen your spine and exhale as you press your chest forward, keeping length in the spine, we're not rounding the back. We're using that rope idea, hiking up the tailbone. Taking a breath in and exhale, maybe pressing a little lower to stretch and lengthen down the right side of the, the back of the right leg. And we'll release coming back up to center and other side, lengthening the leg, lifting the chest, pressing forward. And releasing, coming back up to the top. Now go ahead and scoot back into your chair. Let your back come to rest on the chair, releasing your posture and your spine. Palms are facing up, hands resting on your thighs. Close your eyes and come back to that five, seven, eight breath. Relax your shoulders. Breathe in to the count of one, two, three, four, five. Hold two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and breathe in, two, three, four, five, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, breathe out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, last one, breathing in, and hold, breathing out, Come back to your natural breath, noticing your inhalation and exhalation. Same breath in and same breath out. Open your eyes, slide forward in your chair. Hopefully you feel a little invigorated. It'd be a great time to um, stand up, go take a little walk around and get a nice drink of water. Thank you for joining me for this short session doing chair yoga. Namaste.